All right. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for NBC 23 News today. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. Right now, we are f we are not live. All right, we're going to go ahead and toss things over to the launch. We have left off. Vehicles pitching downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionics power, telemetry nominal. Thirty-three Raptor engines. Max Q. Through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle is going to see on the way uphill. All right, our next our next major milestone coming up. It's going to be hot staging. We're going to see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. Right now, the tower team is doing their go, no go. We might hear some really good words soon, too. All right. And still see it up behind me. That is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. We're coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's start up. most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster, booster Stage separation. Start hot up. stage confer separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. Hopefully I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm gonna send it to you guys in Hawthorne. Oh man, that was <laughs> absolutely incredible. I loved how the crowd- Ship Chamber pressure is nominal. The crowd here in Hawthorne all went, ooh, at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there, first stage currently performing, or to me is uh, now making its way Back to uh, the launch site again. We are ship avionics power and telemetry nominal. Uh, the booster and the tower are both performing automated checks to make sure we are go for the booster to return to the launch pad for that catch. And once those are complete, the flight director booster boost back for shutdown. <laughs> flight director is go for booster return. We did hear that the tower is go for catch, so that was one of the big criteria we were looking for. This view we'll here. wait to hear that the we'll wait to hear that the go for catch has been sent. Beautiful view here from the <laughs> ship. And so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's going to be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land um, in order to make that catch attempt in the tower. <laughs> So incredible to see these views. You can see the ship on the right-hand side of your screen. All six Raptor engines are uh, under full power. 
Once again, the, the ship, or excuse me, the booster is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to try and catch it using the chopsticks on the launch tower, the exact same tower that it just launched from just, wow, five minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, and the booster. Starship on nominal hey guys, trajectory. I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking <laughs> up right now. It's it's pretty much right over ahead of us, and we can see it starting to come down. I can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through Dan's mic. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. It was so cool to hear the liftoff. Uh, and so once again, um, a successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. And in order to... And guys, we should just be about... 30 seconds away from our landing burn. It's going to happen in three phases. We're going to land 13 engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. We're going to ignite 13 of those Raptor engines, and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Landing burn. Ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. shaking right now that was yeah it oh uh, this is not <laughs> yeah, i mean let's, let's it's, check in on ship it's hard to believe that starship nominal orbit insertion all right exciting news there it's hard to believe that you know booster isn't the only excitement that we have today just confirmation there a gorgeous view of planet earth behind uh, ship the FDS ship safe. and it is now in in the orbit that we expected it to this is just an incredible day. Live views there as the booster vents some pressures there. That is a live view from the top of the tower <laughs> looking at the chopsticks. <laughs> I am still in disbelief. I'm trying to catch my tears just like the chopsticks caught the booster. <laughs> it has been nonstop since liftoff. <laughs> and we are all so excited about everything that's been happening so far this morning. With the booster having completed its job for today, 
We are going to take a short break for the next 30 minutes. We'll return back at T plus 40 minutes while the ship continues to coast before re-entry. Oh man, and <laughs> as with previous flights, Starlink may actually enable us to talk with the ship through re-entry with no communication blackout. We of course are still testing Starlink during this phase of flight, so nothing is certain, but if we do have views, we'll be sure to bring those to you live. Views or no views, we'll see you back here at T plus 40 minutes for coverage of Starship's re-entry, flip maneuver, landing burn, and splashdown. Well, good morning, Valley, and thank you so much for joining us. It is an exciting day here in the Valley as SpaceX just has successfully catched its super heavy booster. That was the newest thing for this morning and had draw in a lot of people. So this is a very historic day for the Valley. But before we even caught up with the team, we saw that all we made a listen in and say that there were several improvements to catch this booster, which was the newest element for today. And there are also two major parts. You have the Starship and you also have the super, the super heavy. You can see that separation made around 727 in this morning and then you got also got to see where it safely landed back to the launch pad so let's go ahead and recap for a little bit for the first four launches and we're going to take you to some sound real quick <laughs> Now, back in April of last year, SpaceX conducted its first test flight. Starship was supposed to separate from the booster after liftoff, but that never happened. And according to SpaceX, multiple engines on the 33-engine booster were not firing, causing the rocket to lose altitude and begin to tumble. The self-destruct the system kicked in and the rocket blew up over the Gulf of Mexico. And then now over to the second Starship test flight where it happened in November of last year, where Starship successfully lifted off and made it through stage of separation. And at that stage, the booster suffered a mishap resulting in a mid-air explosion. The FAA identified several corrective actions that needed to be addressed before giving SpaceX the approval to launch again. Despite the corrective changes, SpaceX considered the second launch successful and even a learning experience. Four, three, That's always so exciting to see, even though we saw that this morning as well, too. But this is also round three, where it was an overall success. SpaceX Starship rocket blasted off from Starbase around 8.30 in the morning. That was on March 14th. All 33 engines on the booster ignited and was a successful hot staging separation for the second time. And the booster executed its planned flip maneuver. Fortunately, Starship lost during re-entry and did not splash down into the Indian Ocean. No people or satellites okay, we were on board. On but according to, to SpaceX, Starship designed to one day oh, carry man. both crew I, and cargo I, into I Earth's orbit, the to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Stunning. Five, four, three, So this happened on June 6th, where SpaceX made history with the Starship launch. Starship 29 and Booster 11 blasted off just before 8 in the morning. The rocket system met all of the primary objectives and goals, including the booster splashing down into the Gulf and Starship successfully re-entering the Earth's all atmosphere. All right, 30 seconds into flight, the, the rumble. And here is video of Starship re-entering the Earth's atmosphere prior to the launch. SpaceX confirmed it internationally placed one thin heat shield tiled and removed two tiles completely from Starship to measure how hot 
things got in outer space. Starship mandated maintain good tra trajectory upon reentry before splashing down into the Indian Ocean. And let's hear what the owner has to say. Elon Musk, he issued this statement, which also reads saying in part, quote, despite loss of many tiles and a damaged flap, Starship made it all the way into a soft landing in the ocean. Congratulations to SpaceX team and an epic achievement. And I mean, this was such an epic achievement indeed, as many were able to watch this history making event. So as you know, we did reach up with Starship and their team, and they were able to say that, you know, this was a design in vertical distance, and it was going to make that landing. It took three years to make that heat shield, and they wanted to make it stronger and to make those tiles a secondary level. And it was exciting to hear when the director said, first director is ready to take it on, on Starship. And I mean, it just brought a lot of people together. And here in our studios, we even heard the sounds of those sonic booms. So congratulations to the team. This was a very exciting event. And thank you so much for sticking with us.